Hi everybody, it's Bridget. I'm here to share with you my December projects for Kathy over at Discount Paper Crafts on Etsy. Um, I was asked for um, three months to be a guest designer. So this is my December project and um, it makes me sad. It's my last project. But anyway, um, I wanted to share with you this beautiful tag and uh, mini book that I made um, using the Garment District by Marion Smith. So I'll just show you what I used. Um, I used, well, you can't really see it, but it's the 12 by 12, which I only really have scraps now. This happens to be the 6 by 6, but I use the 12 by 12 papers, which have um, journaling cards and cutouts and all kinds of uh, great images. And then I use the Junkyard Findings Heart Gears. The Shabby Chic Treasures which comes, you'll see, with the frame and another one of these, a smaller size. This, um, Prima Flowers. There it is, Cabriole Blue Moon. And this package. So that's the Layla, and then these um, Prima Bark Shapes, which are in the shape of hearts. And that is there. You go. The item number is five six nine two eight zero. So, I created this tag out of, um, it's not chipboard, I believe it's wood. I had gotten it from uh, Saw Crafters. It came as a shadow box, but I didn't use the uh, window panes. So what I did was I layered the paper, glued it right on, um, muted the colors a little bit with gesso. It's really pretty with the dress form. And then I fussy cut uh, one of the roses out, which you can't really see now, but I layered it underneath here with one of those bark pieces. I think you're supposed to use maybe the other side, but I like the texture of this side and the white and the black. So then I cut a piece of uh, the paper which had this, um, the top of a spool. And then I layered two of the heart gears here with the pearl in the center, a resin wing. And then here I just put um, a Prima word and uh, one of the blue fern pieces, which Kathy does um, carry in her shop. And then here I layered um, some of the flowers from that uh, blue moon package from the Prima, from the uh, design team package. Put a cameo here. This is the frame that came in the um, Shabby Chic Treasure that uh, she sent me, and you can find it at Kathy's shop. This is the other half of the clock. Then I put this in the center, which is one of the heart findings. And then I had these, um, they're really delicate. These are the hands to go with the clock that I just um, basically gessoed and painted right there. And then here is that other heart with the flourish in the back. This is the flower that I did take some of the layers off so that it wouldn't be so big. And then layered it with the other, um, was it Layla, I think? And so I used, anyway, I used the, um, I used the flowers in the various packages that I showed you and tucked a heart back here. And then put a rosebud and then a tiny little rosebud there. And then I put, um, I edged everything with gathered twigs, put a doily there, 
So that's the tag. I'll put it down maybe to get a better view of it. And then I made one of these um, small books that Tamika had shown on her channel out of file folders. Only I just did mine a little bit differently with um, some of the measurements. So what I did was I cut, um, this is like one of my favorite images in the paper uh, from the journaling cards. I fussy cut one of the dress forms out of the piece of paper, out of the 12 by 12 pack. Let's see. And then I also fussy cut this piece, which comes also in a yellow color. Put some canvas letters by Prima. And then I just basically used some of the scraps made from the book and I layered um, throughout the pages. It has to be pretty flat, the embellishments. So I just put a little flag there, some of the paper, and then I put a Prima, um, this is from one of their alpha sets. And then this is the paper. The paper is so beautiful. It's perfect for a flat um, project like this because you really don't have to embellish and it's all for pictures. So I layered and fussy cut uh, these two pieces out of the paper. The tag, this really cool sheet here. And then I made a photo mat out of one of the other pieces. And I put the uh, Prima canvas letters here, wish. And then here I put another little flap, some of the cutouts from the paper. This is really pretty, this sheet. This is uh, the other side, obviously, the B side. Or maybe that's the A side. And this is, anyway, both sides of the paper are so beautiful. You really do need the six by six, which Kathy also has in her shop because it, unless you use it for something like this, you are covering up a lot of the pretty paper. So another photo mat with Inspire in the canvas letters. And then this, I just fussy cut the spool and then I put a banner cut out a banner, punch this out of a Stampin' Up! punch on this day, which is all from the paper, and then left this super pretty image. And then here I put a photo mat, put create in the same gray uh, canvas alphas. So pretty here the way it is. And then the back. So that's my project. That's the mini book. If you have any questions, um, feel free to ask me or just leave a comment. You can find Garment District and all of the other pretty things that I used uh, in Kathy's shop, which is um, discountpapercrafts.etsy.com. And stop by and uh, who knows, you might find yourself a Christmas present or send somebody else some gifts. Either way, she has a lot of beautiful, beautiful things um, in the shop for you guys to um, look at. And these pictures will be on the blog and I believe on the Facebook page too. So um, anyway, I hope everyone has a great week and uh, getting ready for the holidays. And um, I'll see you soon. Bye.